Assalamualaikum, hi girls. I'm Daido Warda. Today I'm going to show you how to make KFC's extra frizzy fried chicken copycat. It is a little bit different indeed. For the fried chicken that I made is the one that's super crispy cutting and full of ripples, nooks and flakes. Actually, this recipe is inspired by Nikos copycat KFC fried chicken. But because I modified the recipe according to personal taste, so the result is not the same. He said, gave the original recipe chicken and cover by a food reporter from Colonel Sanders' nephew. In fact, has 11 herbs and spices to make a perfect KFC chicken at home. And now, I only use 7 types of spices but the result is already so delicious. Even, in fact, my husband said that this copycat KFC is more delicious than the real one. Oh, and certainly with the processing techniques or soon in the video, it ends up with an extra frizzy cross fried chicken that can last up to 8 hours. Wow, if you love it, just enjoy the video. This recipe is actually requested by one of the audience of the Hassan video, Ba Mutiara Febri. Well, here is the caption. Hi Mbak Mutiara, I hope you are watching this video feel happy and satisfied with the recipes and tips that we're gonna display. Okay, I do hope you love it. Enjoy the video. All the ingredients that we need. Ingredient A 1 kg chicken, it can be wings, breasts or legs, cut it is. An egg, beaten with a fork or a whisk just until the egg whites and yolks are blended. 250 ml ice water 1 teaspoon baking soda Ingredient B Ground spices 10 cloves of garlic 1 teaspoon pepper powder or granules 1 segment of ginger 2 blocks of chicken broth 1 teaspoon salt half teaspoon coriander, optional 3 red chili peppers, optional 1 segment of turmeric, optional Ingredient C for cutting 450 grams of high protein flour 150 grams of cornstarch 2 teaspoon paprika powder or can be replaced with red pepper powder It can be mixed not like spicy Broad powder or salt to taste 1 teaspoon basil powder Optional 1 teaspoon oregano powder Optional 1 teaspoon pepper powder Optional Jangan lupa subscribe The Hasan Video. Dengan begitu, kami akan tetap semangat untuk terus membagikan tutorial video yang bermanfaat lainnya. Jangan lupa jempolnya ya. Dan kalau berkenan, silahkan tinggalkan jejak di kolom komentar. How to make Mix well the ingredient C, set aside. Wash and clean chicken, drain well from the chicken. Then mix the chicken with the ingredient B which was already ground. Keep it in fridge overnight to allow the spices infuse into the chicken. And if we want to use a shorter way, we can keep it for only 3 to 5 hours. But of course, 
Later, the taste of chicken is not as delicious as the flavor of chicken kept overnight. Now, time to prepare the ingredient for dripping. Place the ice water in ingredient A with 5 tablespoons of mixture from the ingredient C in a bowl and whisk to combine. Add baking soda from the ingredient A. Set aside or store in the fridge first to keep it cool so that the latter the coating will be more easily attached to chicken. Pull the chicken out of the fridge. Then dip chicken pieces in the beaten egg from the ingredient A to lightly cut them. Then transfer to flour mixture of the ingredient C. Shake the chicken. Dip briefly in ice water. Roll it again in flour coating. Just pinch or squeeze around so that the flour tastes better and gets freezy. Turn it a few times and make sure the flour mix is really stuck to the chicken. Repeat with all the chicken pieces. The one that we have to note for the crunchy result. When rolling the chicken into the coating ingredient, try to do it when the chicken is about to fry at that moment. That way, the chicken is not too long to wait, because actually if it is too long ignored, the result can be hard later. Fry the chicken between 15 to 18 minutes until golden brown and fully cooked, depending on the chicken size. While frying, the chicken should not be oven reserved so as not to absorb a lot of oil. Remove the chicken from the oil and add to a dredging rack on a top of a clean cookie. Garnish with oregano if you love it. And yeah, it would be more delicious to be served with a chili sauce. Yum yum! Uh -huh. When cutting the chicken, make sure we cut it right in the sections of the meeting between the joints so the bone marrow is not broken. If it breaks, usually when it is fried, there is something red like the blood in the glimpse, but it is actually part of the broken marrow. This KFC chicken doesn't need to be cooked in spices first, actually. Or we usually call it as mengung cup in Bahasa Indonesia, since the process of overnight marinating has already had chicken cooked faster. Besides, we will have juicy carbs and tender, because precisely when the chicken is cooked first in spices before deep frying, the result of fried chicken becomes tough and dry. Make sure our hands start dry while coating the pieces of chicken because if the hands are wet then the flour causes to clot consequently the results of the next fried chicken become sudden and hard and while squeezing we should squeeze it in a light way because if we squeeze the chicken with a strong movement the result even cannot be curly so just when the flour has been attached perfectly immediately wet briefly then dump it into oil and fry Thus, the result of fried chicken will be crunchy and curly. Well, the texture of the chicken made in it can be perfectly cooked as long as frying using deep fry technique and using medium fire that tends to be low. Kalau misalnya ingin digoreng nanti-nanti juga bisa, jadi cukup digoreng setengah matang aja seperti ini. 
Nah itu kan masih putih kan Ini karena digoreng setengah matang Nanti tinggal disimpan di freezer Kalau misalnya ingin ayam goreng Kentucky Tinggal buka freezer dan digoreng Thank you for watching Don't forget to subscribe our channel The Hazen Video To have the updated video every week And yeah Don't forget to give me a thumb up Add the video to your favorites And leave your comment below Thank you so much Bye-bye.